<laughs> That's all. Get up. Get in the... No, we're not going to do that. We, this is... <laughs> this is um, Jesus Saturday. <laughs> Ready when you are. Alright, how does the kitchen look from the background? Looks good. Make it look good. Let's look. Wait a minute, let me fix this. Everything picked up on camera. Which light I'm looking at? The lens or the red light? Lens. Good morning. Welcome home life. So today I'm going to make breakfast. It is Saturday. I've already did my little whatnots that I have to pick up throughout, throughout the day for the house and for daycare. And, and by the way, I'm a licensed child care provider. So I am getting ready to make a nice at-home meal after running all of those errands throughout the week. I'm always rush, rushing to go to school, rushing for work, rushing to go this place, that place. So on Saturdays, I like to kind of just cool it down and move it slow and make a breakfast. So let me stop talking because I'm hungry. So let me tell you what I'm making today. I'm going to make um, pancakes, uh, eggs. My husband's eating egg whites and he's eating gluten-free pancakes. I'm using this brand right here. Anybody that has issues with gluten, this is an excellent brand to, to um, cook with for pancakes. And I'm going to use the old Hungry Jack buttermilk pancakes, just add water. However, uh, also we're going to have some good old hominy grits. <laughs> and this way, uh, Mike Robbie used to say homie grits. <laughs> But we're going to have some good old grits, homey grits, and we're going to have some good, um, this is so good. It's not salty or anything. Like the, um, there's another brand of turkey sausage, the Hillshire Farm. That to me is a little high in sodium. It's, it's just a little salty. I still love it. I love it, but it's, it's just real salty to me. So this one, this is a sweet Italian chicken sausage with kale. It's by Nature's Promise. And you get this from Food Lion if you have one in your area. So, um, but I love that sausage. Y'all should try that one out. Okay, so now I have a skillet and I put a little bit of oil in. And then I have my, I'm going to turn this up. I have some water boiling for my grits. My homie grits. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to that. A little goes a long way. And then I'm going to flavor this water with some butter. Now, there are a hundred ways to make grits in the South. In the country. So everybody has their own way of doing it. So my way, and I have different ways that I like to make it too, but this particular way, I'm going to use just the pink Himalayan salt and a little bit of butter. And sometimes I add a little bit of um, olive oil to my grits as well. But I'm just going to add just like a little dollop of the olive oil, you know, just to give it a little, a little grease grease to it. I love my grits. I mean, just... Comment below how you like to eat your grits because I used to love my grits with the bacon and the little grease sitting on the surfaces on the outside. Everybody got a different way of eating grits. Some people like sugar in their grits. I don't like sweet. I don't like sweet and savory grits. I'm more of a, even though I'm not supposed to have so much salt, but I, I'm more of a, I wouldn't say salty, but flavorful. I like mine's more flavor, more, what's the word? It's um, savory. That's what I like. I like mine's more savory. 
So um, that's how I'm going to do those. And then I'm going to make our pancakes. Now, my husband is going to have, um, he likes his pancakes with, he said he'll use just one, um, bananas and just water. Now, I'm going to juju do mine up some because that's just me. I'm going to add a little bit of, I went to the store and I forgot to get some brown sugar. So, I'm going to use a little bit of organic sugar to mine. Mix. Just a little. And, you know, I, I already poked around my skin, so you just have to look at those other videos where I can't have any, um, I can't have any um, white sugar because it just messes my skin up terribly. And these are the egg whites. I feel like I'm allergic to the white sugar. This is a little bit of oil if we run out. And I'm going to cut up some banana. I don't know what it is, but I just love bananas now. Like, I didn't even, I used to didn't like bananas, but, um, when I had to look out for my, um, blood pressure and they, and I read that bananas were very good for lowering the blood pressure. I just really have a desire for bananas. But I don't know what it is with me and these bananas. Like, I'm just going banana for bananas. Like, I love eating them on my cornflakes. And, and I apologize if I'm talking too fast. But, you know, I'm excited about some food. My mouth just go to pop. Alright, so. And then I'm going to give it another slice across. Because we're going to add this into our batter like that okay now my husband he likes to use um, rice milk and I like to use almond milk so he uses rice milk so I'm going to flavor his pancake with a little bit of rice milk because y'all, even though it says water to add to your mix, you want to have a little bit more flavor. Now, some people put egg in it. I don't know. I might put a little. I might put an egg in mine. So I'm not sure. But um, some people use egg, and some people you pancakes are different. Uh, is another thing. You can get those any which way you like them too. You know, there's a lot of different ways on how you make your pancakes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the rice milk to his. To his um, mix, and then the um, we're going to add some bananas to it as well. We're going to stir it up really, really, really good. Now the gluten-free pancake mix. It's just different. It's very light. I've, I've had these before. Um, it's really good. It's really tasty. Kind of looks just like um, you know, like a cake batter. And then we're going to add in his bananas. Banana. These look so good. You know, you know, I actually got some berries and stuff. Oh well, I didn't think of all of that. So. Should have added some more fruit to this. You see how that thickens it up? Alright. Let's go over here and let's check out this. Ooh, those grits. That water is popping. So I use about two or three scoops of grits. I'm gonna turn this down some. It doesn't boil over. I hate when stuff boils over on the side. Okay. I'm going to let those cook. Now we're going to take... Now, see, I'm not allergic to gluten or anything like that. So I'm going to take... I'm going to cook his first. And then I'm going to go ahead and do mine. I can eat both pancakes. And then he. And you know what? This, when you had like different allergies and things, because I've, I've always had a lot of different allergies growing up. It seemed like they just had just one set way of, of buying things in the grocery I mean, selling things in the grocery store. And then the things that were like organic and that you really needed, 
those things be like they cost so much more money and now they make everything real user friendly I mean easy to shop for to buy for all right now I have oil in this pan but I'm just going to add he really doesn't like a lot of butter on his but I'm just going to add this a smidge for flavor of oil and then we're going to do my pancakes I'm going to do my mix while that well little Sally Grits trying to act up she trying to boil over let me turn this down so I'm on this two piece so you all can see versus the stove my stove is gas I really love cooking on gas but you know we're going to record today you all can get a better view you want to cook on this skillet and behave in the name of Jesus <laughs> Look at it. It's trying to like bubble up again. Ooh, that steam is hot. It's real. All right. So we have this already, and I'm gonna take my spoon. Even though I have a little spout, I use just to pour it out. I want them like in little sand dollar pancakes, so I'm gonna make the little sand dollar pancakes. So we're going to let this get a little warm. And while we're waiting on that, so what I add to this was some, um, this is my pancake mix. I added some organic sugar. And now I'm going to add some bananas. Now we're going to leave those bananas for decoration those there and then I'm going to use the almond vanilla flavor I was using the unsweetened kind but I just don't like the taste of that I really like the taste of this one I use a lot of different brands but I don't know I just love this great value taste so that's the one I'm going to use for my pancake And it's so cheap. I hope they're not using cheap, cheap products, but I really love the taste of it. <laughs> I really love the taste of this milk. Because I use all I tried all the other different brands and stuff. And you know they were so so this one just like got it like just right. Like it had just enough vanilla in it. It had it wasn't too sweet. Because some of the, the name brand ones they were too just too sweet. So, now, with these pancakes, you know you can make them any which way you want to make them. Now, this is the way that I'm, this is my makeup. Okay, I hear, oops, there was some of that milk on me. Alright, I hear John getting all worked up frying pan. Starting to sizzle. So, I'm going to add the, um, Y'all be naming my um, pots and stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> so, my grandma used to say, um, turn Mary down or turn John down. She was talking about pots and stuff. But anyway, I, I just get that from being around a lot of different cooks. But yeah, my frying pan is getting nice and it's sizzling. So see, that's the consistency you want for your pancake. You don't want it too loose, and you don't want it too thick. You want to make sure you get in there and stir it all up. <laughs> that's all. Get up. Get in there. No, we're not going to do that. We. This is. <laughs> this is um Jesus Saturday. <laughs> so I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but yeah, you want to stir up these really, really good. Like that. Okay. All right. Now that she has calmed down, we're gonna put the lid on there. Now let's test this. And y'all see this um, gluten-free? It's it's different. That's all I can say. It's like it's not as thick. Let's. 
And we're gonna put some in there. It's not sizzling a lot, but it'll get um I think it'll be fine. Like that. Now, these gluten-free pancakes, they kind of funny at. You know how you got some relatives in your family that you like, they good, but they kind of funny at you. Well, that's how these gluten-free pancakes are. <laughs> they nice, but they kind of funny at you. You got to be careful with these gluten-free pancakes. And I'm kind of new to cooking with um, this type of mix, so I'm learning it. But it seems like to me sometimes it takes a little longer to cook than that regular the pancakes that I'm used to cooking with. I mean of, of eating with. So you have to kind of, you know, kind of gauge it. Just let it, you know, the simple basic way of how you make a pancake. But the gluten-free ones, they, they're, they're different. That's all I can tell you. It's a different way of cooking when they're um, frying in the frying pan. And then also remember, I'm not using a non a non stick frying pan. I'm using a old fashioned skillet. So that makes a difference too. Oh, you all look at that. Those homemade grits. Those homemade grits came out good. Look at that. That's like the perfect consistency. We like ours a little loose. Some people like them a little thick. And so your taste. I like mine like this. See that? It's like just right. Not too thin. Not too thick. Some people like theirs. Another one. But yeah, those are about. Those are like done. Oh my god. I used to mess up grits. Like I really used to mess grits up. Hold on, y'all. See, I tell you these, these, um, I tell you these, um, gluten-free pancakes are funny. Look at that. I need to let it get a little bit more. They funny acting now. See, this one... Maybe because I have bananas in it. Maybe that's why it's actually funny. Loose. Oops. So it looks a little messy. But it'll come all together in the end. As I tell you, these, these gluten-free ones. I probably need to let the... Um, Feel it get a little warmer. See how they are? They all, you know what? They almost look like cornbread. You know, like that. But we know that's not real cornbread. The Jiffy. I love me a Jiffy box of cornbread. Ooh, that one got a little burnt. We're going to call that one Southwestern. <laughs> We not even gonna worry about it. We just gonna call it Southwestern style. My husband like Southwestern style, so we gonna call that Southwestern style. Okay, so it, it it looked like a little hot mess, but it's gonna be pretty once they get done. For now. And they have a different taste to them as well, the um, the gluten-free ones. So you got to be careful, you know, they're not like your average pancake. Let's just say that. All right. So we're going to let that one go. Now we just stir these grits. Oh, these grits are like perfect. We're going to go ahead and move these off. chicken sausage. The chicken sausage is going to cook. 
because it takes longer. We'll make our egg whites last. And I have a little lid for the... I'm going to add a little bit of water to this because I want some of that. I want it to get like a little soft. Then I add a little bit of water to that. And that's all the little kale and stuff you see in that chicken sauce. Y'all, it's so good. So we're going to cover that. And yes, I know that lid doesn't fit that. Little shopping. All right, now you see how these, these are cooking? So I said, now, you have to get used to these right here. These, um gluten-free pancakes because they have a different way and then remember I'm making this in a skillet not in a um, non-stick pan and they have come out you know prettier but I'm gonna cut into one so you can see but see that's the way the the gluten-free ones look on the inside so it's an acquired way of eating, of, t of tasting. But y'all, they're going to be still good. They got a little singe, but they're good. Trust me. You have to try it. They look a little crispy, but they're delicious. So let's go ahead and plate these. Now, I like for breakfast, I like to put my pancakes separate from my grits and my eggs. So you do it whichever one you want to do. Now this may look like a little hot mess.com but it's delicious because I have eaten these. I've tasted these before. All right, now let's add a little bit more oil. Now see, he he can't have um, regular pancake, but I can. So I'm gonna just put regular oil in mine. And I'm gonna make it this type of way for me. Ooh, I had more gluten-free pancakes. Well, we'll put those to the side. I'm going to spoon out my buttermilk pancakes. Butter, milk. Butter, butter, milk. gonna eat all these pancakes <laughs> I have no one to share with <laughs> all right now the buttermilk pancakes they're gonna cook regular so no they're not gonna be different like the um, gluten free ones I'm gonna put this milk back and if you have like any um, different allergies or symptoms of cooking food, I mean of eating food, you know, research it because they have other ways, they have other things on the market that can help you with that so that you don't feel left out or miss that taste for like pancakes and things. You know, when you um want to indulge in that. Okay, look at this. Look at this. See, that's the um, sausage just cooking. I put a little water on it so it can just cook out um, any sodium in it. But this, I promise you, y'all, this chicken sausage is not salty at all. You have to try that chicken sausage. It is delicious. All right, let's do a little bit of house cleaning. Look at these. Look at 
Hey, Dan Peels. I'm gonna move this. Chopping board. Okay. Now, now you look at look at the wreck. Look at oh. I have I have um I have um ah, behave. I have fruit in this pancake mix, so that's why it's acting like that. See. And then these are buttermilk. So remember, I'm cooking in the frying pan skillet. So it's looking a little bit sloppy, but we want to pretty it up. In the end, we're going to beautify it. Y'all know when you make a cake and it be looking all ugly, those be the best cakes to taste. My mom used to do that all the time. She ended up buying store brought cakes for our birthdays because she didn't like it. Guess what? I'm her child. I did the same thing. <laughs> we just could not make no cakes. Okay. We, we're, we're not bakers. Now she could make a mean brownie now. I'm going to make some good brownies. So there's certain things that she could bake. The cake wasn't one of her things. My grandmother either. Grandma didn't like making all the cakes. She used to buy cakes. And she would get somebody that she knew well. Or she had some of my aunties. They would make the cake for her. Alright, so this is Saturday breakfast. So, <laughs> normally my pancakes look prettier than this. But, <laughs> that's what happens when you make stuff in the skillet. But I wasn't tasting it in the skillet. So, it is what it is. It's still going to be good though. Oh, and let me show you what I'm using, which I forgot to buy this as well, but um, I'm using the guava syrup, or my husband likes to use just regular honey. I can't use the um, regular syrup because it has all that, those extra preservatives in it. Okay. Mmm. I got 
like a little bit of hot mess. It looks really good. It is really good. Good, good, good. I may be flipping these too soon, but. Oh, I gotta eat some more. Oh, look, y'all, there's a nap in there. Mmm, it's so good. Oh. Mm. It's hot, too. I'm like the cameraman. They told me his. Paleo. Alright, as you can see, the water has boiled off. sand dollar pancakes. I don't make the real big fat ones. Unless I'm on the skillet. I mean the um, not a skillet, a griddle. Oh y'all these are good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. They don't look pretty but they cook. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Talk about kitchen updates because the drawer back there is all in the camera. Why don't you cut that out? Ooh, I'll see whenever I watch the clip. Cut that whole clip out. I think I'm going to talk about how bad the pancakes look. I notice you've been using that lately a lot. The I black. Like the taste of. Mm. You want me to make up the rest of yours in here, or you want to off? You want the, this kind? What kind? I, you want me to use this pan? Nah. Those would be good. It looks bad, don't they? That's good. I need some other stuff with it, like cereal and knickknack. So what's next? You want your record you cook? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Now, I had to get rid of um old Hop and John that skillet. It was just, look, y'all look at this pancake. It singes on the outside, but I promise you they taste better than they look. <laughs> Normally my pancakes come out perfectly go to brown, but it's the reality of cooking. It's the reality of cooking. So, we have this cookie. What am I looking for? Now we're gonna make some egg whites. Now my husband wants egg whites. I personally, I eat both. We're going to put a little bit of um. You want it butter or oil? Oh, I'm not eating eggs. You didn't want the egg whites? Mm -hmm. You asked for egg whites. No, I said grits, sausage, and pancakes. You can have the egg whites though. I don't want your egg whites. Yeah, we can pour this back. I don't want no egg whites. Okay. <laughs> I don't eat egg whites. Like eating nothing. All right, so you want cheese on your grits? Yeah. What kind of cheese? Yellow or white? Uh, yellow. I did both. Put both of them on there. I got a taste for both. Okay. Now I went to my. We can cut that egg white part out. I'm gonna take some, um, this is dairy free cheese. 
Everybody has a lactose problem. We can't eat cheese. I personally just can't eat the um whole cow cheese. This cheese, y'all, is so good. You don't even taste it. You don't even taste the difference. I got this from Public when I went to go visit my daughters in the um, school. And y'all, that cheese is delicious. Alright, yeah, let me ask you to cook all the pancakes like this. What you like? Yeah, you wanted to use the black skillet. Yeah, I know, I messed it up. Well, not really. You didn't mess it up at all. This is how mine is Southwestern style. Whatever. <laughs> That's the best way. You want to come down here to work and film you real good? Got things blocking the view. Yeah, I could make me a regular um egg white. I mean I can make me a regular egg yolk. Okay. You ready to continue filming? Yeah, I was trying to think. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll go ahead and make or add it to the right there, your egg to that mixture. Like egg. Well, egg whites is in a regular egg. You just got more of the yolk. Yeah. Not you. <laughs> so we're gonna add. Now we're going to make some eggs. I like butter in my egg. Butter, butter. Okay. Now I personally, I can't eat grits, eggs, and ugh, I can't do it all. I cannot do that. But some people can, and God bless you if you can. There's, there's a lot of components for me to eat. So now I'm going to add these egg whites. My husband changed his mind to say he didn't want any egg whites, y'all, but I thought he said he wanted egg. Ooh, ooh that egg is frozen. So I'm going to just eat them myself. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheese with mine. And I don't know who's like me. I like to put my cheese in the egg just like that. I also do not like my eggs with my pancakes. I like it on a separate place. Good, so I'm adding a little bit more of that <laughs> plant-based butter in there. Here's our chicken sausage. It's coming along. It's coming along really good. All right. Let's get back and back and back and with the eggs. With the eggs. I'm putting my eggs on the circuit bowl. My sausage is going to go on this on on this bowl with my um pancakes because I like you know I like my meat with my pancakes and what do you like to do for um breakfast when you have the time to cook because I can't eat like this every day so I like to just use this on my weekends what kind of breakfasts do you like some people like french toast and they make Belgian waffles and all that stuff I do like waffles too do I like cleaning the skillet? No. But I do like <laughs> I do like making waffles. Alright, we're gonna let that just kind you may of wanna switch the eye. 
Because the sausage is already hot. Oh. They would have cooked the eggs. Let's, go, let's switch this. My cameraman recommended that we just switch the eye. Because that's a, this is a larger eye, and that's a shorter eye. Oh, my mother said, you're good for something. You're good for something. <laughs> that's deserving enough for a kiss. <laughs> Ain't that kind of champ. <laughs> but then again, it could be. But no, we're not, it's not that kind of champ. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. You know, he's acting for some sugar. Alright, see how those eggs are cooking? I gotta watch these electric. Ugh. I kind of want to get an electric stove, but then again, I don't. But I do, and then again, I don't. Because you just... seem like to me, my food doesn't burn when I'm cooking on a gas stove versus an electric stove. When I'm cooking on an electric, it's like the food just burns up. I have to like stand guard. Okay. Our eggs. I'm about to say our grits. <laughs> Let me see our eggs. Look at look at that, y'all. See how cute that is? Look how cute that is. It's already practically done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I went and started off messing with that frying pan and sweet. You can do it. No. <laughs> nothing no. to it. I doubt I'm going to eat all these eggs. Just pour me. No, we ain't going to pour nothing in. <laughs> and we both busted. Nope. Okay. The eggs are cooked. When you, um, in your house, when you cook uh, breakfast, who is obligated to clean up? The person that cooks or the one that clean up? The person that cooks supposed to help clean up? How do y'all do it? Sometimes we'll do it together and sometimes I'm just like, I cook the food so you're going to have to clean the dishes. <laughs> but I will help set it up. Water, we turn off the skillet. If you use hot water to wash that frying pan out with the cheese in it, it's going to be all gooky and on your rag and stuff. But if you use cold water just to get all the residue and stuff out and the cheese, and then you just let it go on, like I have a little grater, not a grater, but a gauge for the sink, and you let that run down, then you go back in and you wash it with the hot water. I learned that tip from a person that washes dishes. <laughs> She washed dishes professional for a restaurant. And she just taught me all kind of little nips and tricks like that. Because you know, sometimes people say, oh, well, if I, um, you know, you put, when you cook cheesy dishes, they cook it, they wash it all in hot water. And it's like, that thing takes forever and it gets all over your rag. But if you soak, just let it sit in some cold water. It'll lift that cheese and then you just rinse it out and then you go back in and disinfect it with the hot water. Tell you that. 
tell you it makes life so much easier. Someone's calling us. Someone's calling us while we're doing this filming. I'm call them back. Okay. Y'all look at that sausage. That chicken sausage is done. Done, 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 son. Done. Look at that, y'all. It is so now I'm like, is that country enough for you? Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Um, see, that's one, but that was my favorite. Oh, God, look at all those eggs. And I'm not even going to touch any grits. Look at that. I can't even do all that. But this is mine, and this is going to be this. And then I'm going to, um, that's pretty, y'all. Then I'm going to, um, I'm not going to use syrup. I'm going to use some guava. This is organic light guava syrup. This is good for you if you have any um, people who are pre-diabetes. Um, it's a low glycemic um, syrup that you can use. And, and it, it's, it's really good. They have a light one and a dark one. You know, a little goes a long way. Look how much I've had this for a while. It kind of looks like honey, but it is so good. It's so good. Now, my husband, we like honey on his, but I like the guava soup. Okay. So, our chicken sausage is done. And we're going to... Hold on, hold on. We're going to move this over. We're going to move his pancakes over like this. And I'm going to add his chicken sausage right here. There you go. Bon appetit. Let's grill this sauce. So, how do you like your breakfast? So, I am praying that you have a blessed and relaxing Saturday. And if you're working, I'm praying that you get off soon so you can enjoy yourself. Because that relaxation time is very important. It's always good to have nourishment for your body and keep yourself on point. But sometimes you just want to just take out time and just make a nice little comfortable breakfast. And just sit and savor it and look at some Hallmark or some Lifetime. <laughs> okay, I'm going on and on and on. But thank you for coming. Welcome home. Remember to be a better you. Um, I'm praying for you. And I'm praying that you, only those who are righteous and have honest prayers, please pray for me. <laughs> In a good way. Mwah. Bye.